Anybody listening to this now should go and sit in the bathroom, but don't open the door. In fact, take the handle off the door. Have you ever wondered what life is really like behind bars? And when that door shuts, that feeling is the scariest feeling possible. The first night in prison, the chaplain came to me and she said, you're going to find out who your friends are. I'm Chris Atkins, and I'm a filmmaker who went to prison for tax fraud in 2016. Changing names, aren't you? Do I need to move closer to the mic? Yeah, you're a bit closer. Since I've got out, I've interviewed over 20 ex-prisoners about their experiences in jail. He said, oh, so you must be the new lad. Let's see how long you last. I was the wing painter. However, there was no paint. Every cockroach I see, I'm going to put a plastic cup over it. And I ran out of cups at 18. When I was inside, I got loads of letters asking me about the food, the clothing, and of course the showers. As you shower with your boxer shorts on. Everyone showers in their pants. Now what's that about? The whole wing would do cook-ups and they'd do a banoffee pie. There was a chicken leg. The guy said, you should give me that. Punched me in the face from behind. I broke his arm on the landing in front of the screws. This podcast will answer all those questions and take you headfirst into the biggest prison crisis in history. So your three choices, eat, shower, talk to family. You can't do them all, no. This boy showed me a knife wound cutting his throat and nobody gives a damn. If you've seen people murdered in front of you and people hang themselves, you take something out of you. It'll expose a collapsing system that is failing victims and wider society. Now, if that was the NHS, if that was education, if that was any other public sector body, there would be outrage at the huge waste and futility of it. I'll ask what prisons are actually for, whether good people can do bad things, and if we can ever really change who we are. You focus on what you control and you remove yourself from what you cannot control. So once I accepted that, prison became tolerable. They would pack it, but then maybe stand on the biscuits or... So they'd break the pedo's biscuits. All I kept thinking is, my mum's forgiven me. The prison sentence meant nothing to me. Search and subscribe to A Bit of a Stretch wherever you get your podcasts.